50 bucks for an all-in-one, but I won't be biased. You can do it! This episode is brought to you by CDCovers.com. CDCovers offers a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of the usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. So today we're gonna have a look at another all-in-one, but this time we are coming back to the old budget-friendly days. Meet the Deepcool Gamax L120 V2 with anti-leak technology inside. <laughs> Yeah, the last one probably leaked and they needed a new PR thing. Enough, let's take a look at the spec sheet. The Gamax L120 V2 that I have here is the 120mm model with a 27mm thick radiator, but it also comes in a 240 and 360 variant. In terms of compatibility, it is up to date with up to AM4 on Team Red and LGA1200 on Intel. Though LGA1200 is not mentioned on the box, but we all know 1150 and 1200 are like cross-compatible, so there you have it. The unnamed pump sits on top of the big copper block and is capable of spinning at 2400 RPM while yelling at 17.8 dB, so barely noticeable. The included fan is able to spin at 1800 RPM with almost 70 CFM, 2.42 mm of water at less than 30 dB. So a, a bit loud, but whoa, those are some numbers. The sleeve tubes are 311mm long and adjustable at the water block. And of course, both the fan and water block come with some nice looking RGB. So, a few things that mm, I wanted to mention. The RGB is controllable over a 4-pin RGB header. But on the water block and fan, Deepcool is using some sort of proprietary plug and it, it has to be adapted to standard RGB by using the included adapter. Something that I have seen multiple times by now, but I, I just don't see a reason for it, it's just annoying. Though it is daisy chainable, so at least something positive here. But let's just quickly take a second and realize how massive this water block is. That's one huge water block for a budget all-in-one. On the fan, the specs look very promising, but I have to say it looks cheap and it feels cheap and it can easily be bent and all and there are no rubber pads or anything to add some value, but maybe it can make up in performance, we will see that. And there is one more thing, the water block does not come with pre-applied thermal paste but they included some in the bag of mounting hardware. What is this? Why... Why would you back this up? <laughs> anyway, the installation process is pretty easy as always. On AM4 you can even keep the original backplate. Just remove the front packet and install the spacers, and then screw in the brackets for your platform onto the water block from the bottom up, and then you just install the water block with the thumb screws. As easy as always. Though for Intel and AM2, AM3, AM2, AM2, AM3, you have to put the backplate behind the motherboard, but that's basically it. But now, before we move forward, let's put this into a case.
The installation was just as expected. I generally prefer all in ones where you can just like slide the bracket into the water block, but this was also fine. For the design, I think it looks all right for what you pay for. It's far away from, from something like NZXT's Kraken products, but I still think it looks decent, though I believe that the fan just yells budget. But in the end, it's it's a budget-oriented cooler, so not, I'm not trying to nag on, on every little detail, it would just be unfair. That being said, the only thing that cannot be saved on is performance, so let's take a look. We tested the Gamax, Gam, Gamax? Gamax? L120 V2 on our usual test bench with a Ryzen 3700X locked at 4.5GHz. Here, out of the box, with the original fan, the all-in-one managed to keep the CPU at 78 degrees C. Not bad. Considering I had two 40s performing worse, still on top of the line, but it's a budget all-in-one, so it's pretty good. Then we normalized the fans with our Arctic P12s. Here, the Gamex L120 V2 was performing exactly the same with 78 degrees C. Maximizing the space by sandwiching it with P12s, the temps got a tiny bit down to 77 degrees C. So first off, the original fan is pretty good. And overall, the whole unit is just balanced. Only 1 degree C difference means that there is not really a reason to use a better fan anyway. But one thing has to be mentioned, the pump is absolutely unhearable. During all of our tests, I always keep the pump at a 100% because I'm looking for the maximum performance. And no matter what I did, the pump was just dead silent. So, all in all, I do think that this all-in-one is a great value. Of course, the fan looks a bit budget and the wires are not sleeved and there is the annoying proprietary plug and all, but it is also one of the cheapest all-in-ones I ever had and it performs pretty good for the price tag, only a couple of degrees behind the best until now. On the could have been better side, I would just call out the tubes. They are sleeved, but with 310mm, they are a bit short for my taste. For the rest, sure, it's tiny things here and there, but for the price tag, I cannot nag like on the same level as I would with a 100 Euro cooler. Right now, the Deepcool Gamex L120 V2 is going for around 50 to 53 euros here in Europe, and this makes it extremely cheap compared to things like the NZXT Kraken. So, all in all, I can absolutely recommend this for who, whoever wants to go with a budget all in one. It's not the best, but considering the price, it is a really great value. I will, of course, put manufacturer and Amazon affiliate links down in the description below. But if you want to go a tier higher, we recently had a look at the Thermaltake TH120. It is a bit pricier, but the quality is also a bit better, so maybe take a look at that one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to leave your opinion with a thumb up, thumb down, or the comment section below. And make sure to be subscribed with the bell icon to never miss another video.